I've always been very keen on pushing household appliances to their limits, and the vacuum cleaner is actually one of the most powerful electrical machines you'll ever touch. And at 1500 watts, I don't think that kind of power should be restricted to removing crumbs from carpets. My hunch is these things produce enough suction to turn a man into a Spider-Man. Even the cheapest vacuum cleaners give a suction force of about a fifth of a vacuum. It doesn't sound much, but that's a suction force of a kilo for every five square centimetres. The area of a postage stamp. So, on the area of this nozzle, it's a pretty good force, but not much. But suck all the air out of a sandwich box, and that's a massive force. Unbelievable. So I reckon if I suck out an area big enough, I'll be able to hang my own weight off a suction pad and a vacuum cleaner. Maybe. But then what would I do? Simple. Take that concept and turn it into a set of vacuum gloves, capable of scaling one of the smoothest buildings in the land, the BBC's own White City building. 100 feet of sheer aluminium cladding. As with all projects, the first task is to prove the concept works. If an area the size of a sandwich box can lift a sheet of ply, I'm hoping this can support my whole weight. All right. Yes, that takes my whole weight. Totally held by that one board of ply. Now, the idea is, my thinking, if I make a couple of these a bit neater, that's two vacuum gloves. Two vacuum gloves? I reckon I can start climbing buildings. <sighs> and when you switch the vacuum off, it comes away pretty quick, which means I can release my hands and definitely climb. But there's a problem. You might think if a vacuum pad can hold me to the ceiling, it can hold me to a wall too. But watch this. This pad is stuck to a wall in a way that I just can't pull it off, but there's not enough friction to stop it sliding down the wall. And if I'm going to climb buildings, I'm going to need an awful lot more friction. There's one material that might just solve the friction issue. Rubber is known for its grip and for keeping things airtight. It should be the key to making my gloves work. And after a lot of testing with different types of rubber, I eventually produced a seal. Soft enough to mould to brick, but with enough friction to hold me on smooth surfaces too. Now all I had to do was figure out how to turn my single pad into a Spider-Man style climbing machine. And after just a few more late nights, I had a system that seemed to work.